Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this freestyle fighter stands at five feet, four inches tall. She weighed in at 118.6 pounds. She enters this fight with an amateur record of zero wins and one loss and fighting out of MMA Masters and Miami, Florida. She is in it. La Luba Perez. And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this striker stands at five feet, four inches tall. She weighed in at 119 pounds. She enters this fight with an amateur record of zero wins and one loss and fighting out of Jupiter Boxing and Jiu Jitsu in Jupiter, Florida. She is Evelyn. No limit E. Ooh, I don't know if you know this, Blake, but El Loba is Spanish for the Loba. Yes. La Loba. I do approve, I, I approve of, of, of the Wolfette. Locking the cage doors now. Evelyn Romo and Yannick Perez scheduled to hook it up here for three three minute rounds. Round number one underway. Now net comes yeah, out. Comes out. House Firing. of fire. There's that nice, that nice, nice darting jab there for uh, for Evelyn Romo. I know, I know she gets work with uh, Maureen Chase. She gets a little work with uh, a lot of people. Oh, a beautiful leg kick. Yeah, and there we see the active hands from Evelyn Romo. Yeah. We've watched her box. We've watched her kickbox. We've watched her fight MMA as well. We've watched her fight MMA. So we know she can. Oh, oh. good combination on the cage there. La Loba looking to get the clinch to stop yeah, that. I wouldn't. I, I don't blame her. Yeah. Good footwork. Nice sting and jab there from Romo. Romo with the uh, hand speed advantage for sure. Loba, you know what you want to do against this? You want to start throwing leg kicks just like that. Loba wants to slow her down, take away the footwork. Oh, good right hand there from Loba as well. La Loba. La Loba. Mm, good leg kick leg. from Romo. Good head movement from Perez, getting out of the way of the counters. Mm. Nice leg kick from Evelyn. Evelyn circling. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Off the couch or not, if it's this kind of a pace, then that's something that Evelyn can do. She can control the pace. She's got good body work there as well. Man, just a big hand speed advantage for Evelyn Romo here. That's what uh, that's what Perez has to do. I think, though, Perez is... is, is Kind of giving away that switch to the kick. So yep. Mm, good right hand there. Very good right hand from oh. Romo. Romo's mouth is coming out. Now Perez looking to get that back. There you go. Yeah, she needs to do this. You take away Evelyn's movement and start throwing some good knees up there. Yeah, because Evelyn, her combinations were beautiful. Yeah, blazing fast hand and good movement as well. Not that, not that Perez is just standing there flat footed. No, and no, not at boots, all. But, but the footwork is much more productive for Romo. This is a good place here. Take away the feet. This is a short notice fight for her. This needs to be the game plan for Perez. Take away the movement, take away the footwork. Grind on her, let her take that first that first deep breath. Good job there. Oh, you never want to. Oh, beautiful trip. And the purple belt gets on top finally in full mount. Romo looking to do some damage. There could be a triangle there. Nope. Just oh, punches. That's, that's, that's. Out the back door goes La Loba. Now Perez on top here. Yeah, that, that was a weird series there for... <laughs> yeah, I don't know how she got the arm trapped in the in, in there like that uh, from Mount. Te technical technical lift mm -hmm. by Evelyn Romo. Mm -hmm. Romo back to her feet now, using the two-on-one to score back to, the, back to her feet. The evolution of wrestling to include the cage. Ten seconds left here. Busy three minutes. Couple good knees there. Well, they look like they were a little below the belt, but... Yeah. And there was one of the hamstring for good measure after the bell. That's okay. <laughs> here we see the replays here. Here's Romo looking for the dart. Boom. Jab on the way out. Yeah, good right those, hand. Those combinations from Evelyn Romo are just. Yeah, and that good micro footwork as my good friend Polly Gloves calls it as well. Boom. Good right hand there. And that's the problem in those exchanges that Perez is caging for defense. And when she's throwing, she's not seeing where it's going, and Romo's just not there. When Perez is moving her head, she's getting out of the way of Romo's punches. Nice little switch there. Good combination from Perez. Perez is more and like a bull was, than the wolf. Yeah, and man, boom, just a 
Old school Muay Thai catch the foot, work to the trip, and then that weird kind of a, almost a deep half out the back door. Deep half without the half. Out the back door for Perez. Hey, sometimes you've got to scramble to a better position. Perez did just that. Busy round number one. Got a score. That one for Evelyn Romo, I believe. Yeah, I'd have to give it to, to Evelyn. Yeah, she did all the damage. Yeah, but when Perez is making it a clinch game, she's, she's getting the better of Romo in the clinch. Round number one is underway. We should drop the, the, and there she goes again, making it a clinch fight, as she should, looking to pressure against the cage. I like the adjustments. I like the adjustments by Perez here. Never get you keep up that pace. That's the clutch. She may have to until she gets her on the corner, and then she can think about breathing. But she doesn't want to stay here and open mat from what we've seen so far. Looks like Evelyn wanted to get, gave her a nice little shiner to match hers. She's a giver. Nice hands nice. there. Yeah, from both nice. ladies. Yep. As we always talk about, it's the combinations that yep. that really gets the fighter in and, and, and makes you know the landing and something. Good, significant. good right hand from Perez. She switches southpaw and now goes back to the conventional stance. That uh, that jab from Romo is keeping Perez honest on rushing in. Oh, oh, good, good body oh. shot, right hand upstairs. Yeah, that split the guard of uh, Perez. Perez, though, got it back where she wants it, pressing Romo into the cage. Romo doing a good job of getting those hips off the cage. Throw it. Yep, as soon as she got off. And strikes. Just the distance she punches. Again, in the... Uh, in reference to Yannette Perez, she was expecting to fight a, a, a smaller, a smaller, maybe less, uh, uh, no offense to Ashley Molina, but not that kind of hand speed. I mean, no, Molina's not, yeah. quick, but not this kind of hand speed. A little smaller as well. A little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck Ash fights with a little bit more power. Yeah. That speed. Man, good roll by Romo getting out of there under that hook. She jabs and rolls under the uh, right hook. Again. Again, sliding under that right arm. Ooh, yeah, that, that's something you should pay attention to, that knee coming in the middle there. Don't want to box too much with your head rolls there. Going to a, oh. Good shot by Perez, but answered by Romo. Mm, good uppercut by Romo. Perez is blocking a lot of the straight shots, but uh, some are getting through. Yeah, the coach, the coach is saying go deeper than that on that right hand. You got to extend a little bit more. Got to, got to enter better. Oh, man, yeah. Romo just doing a great job of controlling the distance. Yeah, I mean, and she knows her distance. Yeah, she does. This is what she does. This is what she does. She fights MMA, and then she boxes in her spare time. Or maybe she boxes and fights MMA in her spare time. I don't know. We don't know, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Seems to be that way. She has a lot more experience in boxing. And her switching of stances is actually, I think, is part of what's given the NET some problems. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, both girls trading right hands there. Yeah, and it feels like she had a, 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 a flurry there, and she did. Cut a little knee there. <laughs> yeah. At round number two in the books, and, man, the ladies are setting the bar for output yeah, I, tonight. I, I, I got to tell you, not that the guys have been slouches. No, no, but tremendous the, fight. Tremendous, tremendous fight by, by, by Hernandez and Washington. Um, tremendous fight by, uh, I mean, great showing by Perez. His output wasn't that high. <laughs> Uh, that 10 second knockout earlier. There was a boom, oh, man. Both girls kind of sliding out of the way on that exchange. Nice right hand from Romo, and Romo keeps it coming. Keeps Romo it coming. lands one. Yep. Yep. One, keeps one. the motor running. Taking big breaths on the stool is Romo, but she's not showing a lot of fatigue in the fight. Now, there we see Perez looking. To, she can't quite get her range, and when she tries to find it, Romo knows right where hers is. Perez is having to crash to make the fight, which is what she's trying to do there. With that boom, yeah, but that jab of Romo is just keeping her honest. Perez has to get inside. And I, I would have to say Perez needs to get a finish. Get I a finish. Think. Yeah. Yeah, but she has to do it, she have to do it on the inside unless she's just got a Hail Mary in there. The puncher's chance is called that for a reason. But uh, but Evelyn Romo, uh, that jab and her distance and footwork is really, and everything else, her combinations as well. Really controlling the pace of this fight. Round number three here started up. Yeah, and Romo still with that jab. Flick, flick. 
Good circle off the cage. Good cage awareness by Romo. Romo's batting away a lot of his punches from the yeah. head, and I've noticed. Yeah, part of keeping that range is that she can see him coming as well. She doesn't have to cage up. She can still catch him. She can still mitt work him. A lot of good hooks there from Romo. And Romo's acting like a, like, a, like a cobra right now. She's like... Yep. Oh, man, nice fade and jab there. Maureen Shea is proud somewhere. Mm, another good jab there. I mean, all these jabs on the way out from Romo, are, are, they are deterring uh, Yannick from chasing her down, which Yannick needs to do to win this fight. Yannick needs to get her against the cage, take away Romo's footwork, and maybe even get her to the ground, but that didn't work out so good in the first round. Oh, good right hand. Nice. Oh, Answered, though. Yep. On the hips, that's what she wants. She's got a minute and a half to make this work. Yeah, nice right hand. That's what's discouraging. You land a good right hand and you eat three. Beautiful uppercut uh, combination counter there from Romo. Yeah, MMA Masters Corner asking uh, Yannick to work here in this position. I agree 100%. This is where she'll win the fight. Too high, got a yeah, a little bit. Romo with the cross face already. Romo with a handful, handful of cage, cage there. Yikers, yeah. yikers, yikers. Hate to see that. Good work here. Yannick might have needed to do this in round number two. This is Ray Ramos. He'll let these go. Yeah, Ray, Ray, Ray's, Ray's uh, one of the best. Yeah, yeah, he likes he likes to watch a fight. As long as you're fighting, he'll let you fight. Good, good catch and re-jab there by Evelyn Romo. Yeah, what beautiful counter punching by Evelyn Romo. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice uh, uppercut from Romo. Right hand, left hook. Man, big flurry here. <laughs> she is tough. La Loba is a tough La gal. Loba, yeah. Got a good chin on her. She's fading on her back foot, but not really getting uh, blasted here. Evelyn Romo throws some shots and looking for the takedown till the end is Yannick Perez, but unable to secure it. You have to think that the last minute replacement, uh, Evelyn Romo's gonna make her record one and one here. Yeah, I don't think that's a question, Blake. With a beautiful performance. Beautiful, beautiful hands. And see right there, beautiful entry from Yannick, but that jab, beat, jabbing out That'll, from, from that, Romo to shut it down. Body, body, honest, head, keep head. It, keeps it honest. A nice jab will keep you honest. Yeah. I keep telling my guys, you, if, you, if you can master the jab and the low kick, you can win a fight. That, absolutely. And the jab, I mean, she landed a lot more than a jab, but the jab made all the difference jab, here. Yes. Jab made all the difference here for uh, Evelyn. By the way, when you're watching this back, Evelyn, we don't have time. We got half an hour and two more fights. I don't have time to get a post fight interview with you, but I uh, wish I could have. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds of action, we go to the judges' scores. All three judges saw this fight the same. 30 29. Your winner, the unanimous decision out of the red corner, Evelyn. No!